<sighs> Goddamn kids on your phones. I'm not on my phone. What do you call? Oh fuck! That's a stack of cards. Yeah, eat a goddamn dick, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, she did. Eat your own um, dick. Eat I... your own dick. <laughs> Give your balls a talk, tip fucker. <laughs> fuck um, you, Shorzy. <laughs> fuck you, Shorzy. <laughs> Oh, hi, everybody, and welcome to tonight's episode of Terror Trio. Uh, what? Is, oh, no, okay, Pat, just, sorry, we, I thought Pat we, was snapping at me. Are, are, we, are we going? Yes. Are we? This is, hello? Going. This is how we sound. <laughs> hi, we're professionals at this point. Uh, <laughs> I'm yeah, one of your hosts, Drew, followed by... I'm Micah. And I'm Eugene. And yeah, so today is June twenty seventh. We're saying it is June twenty seventh. <laughs> okay. Yes, we're saying it's June twenty seventh because it is June twenty seventh. We're in Buffalo, New York. We're at Buffalo Game Space. We're the fucking Terror Trio. And uh, hey, I feel like enough time has gone by that we could uh, we could finally talk about it. I haven't seen it. I know our horror Delilah haven't seen it yet. Hasn't seen it yet. But uh, Eugene. Yes. Tell us about the Dead Don't Die. I know you went to a special premiere for it uh, that was set up through Peter Blue. 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 Thursday Night Peter Terror's Blue. fame. Yes. The, the uh, infamous Peter. Yes. Uh, I thought that movie was fucking awesome. Oh, was it? it? Yeah, I liked it. I liked You're it. You're not it was the funny. only person to say that. Yeah, it was funny. Um, it was it was good. It had a lot of homages to Return of the Living Dead, Night of the Living Dead, just all sorts of stuff. It was a weird fucking movie. Um, it's funny because Peter Vulo and Blue. I were talking towards the end of the movie and we mentioned you and somehow him and who's, I both agree you? that we don't think that you're going to like the movie. Why? I don't know. I don't know. It, it, um, because you, it's, lately you've, you've seen, you've had like some weird, like critiques of movies that we find good, but you don't find uh, no, good. No, I but swear to God, it's just this, like, uh, it's just subliminal, man. I, I swear we like the same movies, but for some reason, we're just like at odds with each other. I feel weird that Adam Driver and I are wearing the same glasses right now. <laughs> you are wearing the Holy same glasses. Holy shit, <laughs> Yeah, you guys are. You have like those weird, uh, like uh, 1960s serial killer glasses. I'm pretty much it's Adam like a serial killer. It's more like the Malcolm X frames from yeah. back in the day. Ooh, Power to yeah, the people. yeah. That's right. Uh, the movie, I mean, you know what? I, I forgot if it was Peter who said it. Somebody somebody made a critique online. They described it as Fargo with zombies. I read I that. And that's that. literally yeah. the perfect description for this well, movie. I'm about if that you life. liked Fargo, Dude, and I, like, I loved Fargo. I loved Fargo. Yeah. Then, you know, Coen Brothers movie, and this movie was... It, it, I don't know. I loved it. It was meta. Like, there's a couple of fourth wall break scenes in this. Like, like um, Deadpool? Kind of, yeah. Really? It's actually pretty hilarious. Uh, there's a scene in the end where where just something happens to a character that is, like, totally out there where you're like, what the fuck? Um, well, I think what I like most about this movie is that it has, like, this, all these big names in, yeah, these movie, in this movie. All these big names. And... They have tiny, tiny parts in it. <laughs> really? You know, aside from uh, Chloe Sevigny and uh, Adam Driver and uh, Bill Murray, Steve Buscemi, Danny Glover, and I think that's it. Oh, and uh, Tilda Swinton. Everybody else has a tiny, tiny part. Carol Kane's in it. Um, she plays God, a zombie. She has one line. Iggy Pop <laughs> plays a zombie. He has one line. So, you know, zombies, it's just zombies talk. Uh, yeah, kind of, like, of, kind of yeah. like Return of the Living Dead. Yes, yes, yes. Nice, that was like one of the nice. one of the homages there. Okay, but I mean, I dug it, man. It was offbeat. I mean, it was a Jim Jarmusch movie. So I mean, yeah. if you've seen any Jim Jarmusch movies, what you know was, all his movies are offbeat. What was his last one? There's something about a vampire. It vampire was the one with uh, with Tom Hiddleston and Tilda Swinton, where they were fuck, I forgot the name of it, but they were like vampires in modern day, and you know, just them hanging out and shit. Uh, just hanging out, and shit, <laughs> just hanging you out. Know. And Jim Jarmusch is people. a really weird looking dude. He looks he's he's a weird looking. He looks like Beatman from Beatman's World. If you remember that show, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's uh, yeah, he's he's a uh, he's he's pretty offbeat. His his movies are kind of out there, uh, but they're good, you know. Oh, there it is. Only lovers left alive. That was the uh, the Only vampire movie. Only lovers left to live. And that, that was, was in uh, two thousand thirteen. So that was his last movie in two thousand thirteen. I think so. Yeah. So he's like he kind of has like a Tarantino thing. He's every, one of yeah. So he's one of, he's one of those up. independent directors that one of those independent um culty 
you know, offbeat directors that puts out a movie every few years. And, you know, it's not really super wide released. Actually, I think this movie is probably the widest released movie that he has so far. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's really cool. Like having uh, Adam Driver and Bill Murray. Yeah. In, a, in the same movie. I think that's incredible. Yeah. Like I'm a I'm a big fan of Bill Murray. I mm-hmm. use, he's one of those. Well, like, yeah, actors. you're a human being. He, he's, yeah, he could do no wrong. <laughs> have a heartbeat. Yeah. yeah. Like there was Everybody that there was that whole story of like uh, this dude was working at a liquor store. He was alone. It was like two in the afternoon and Bill Murray walks in and mm-hmm. he's like, give me your strongest alcohol, whatever. And mm-hmm. he, he got him like this grain alcohol. Bill Murray took a swig. And uh, pulled out a lighter and blew a fireball, dropped uh, dropped money on the counter and went, <laughs> nobody's going to believe you. Yeah. And yeah. walked away. He does that and, all like, the time. Yeah, but that's like a legit thing. Bill Murray yeah. is known for doing that. Just yep. like popping up at like, yeah. he popped up at like a bachelorette party yeah. and like hung out with everybody all night. He'll pop up at like random golf games uh-huh. and just like hang out and drink with you and play. Can the all. groom be mad if the bride bangs Bill Murray? Uh. I, I feel like that's a pass. I, think I mean, like he's in Ghostbusters. I think yeah. if you're in Ghostbusters, you get a pass. That includes Rick know. Moranis. I think I think I think early early Ghostbusters stripes Bill Murray, Caddyshack Bill Murray. I would have let him bang my wife. Yeah, not, no, not, not so much. Old, day Bill Murray? decrepit, paunch belly Bill Murray. Nah. Well, I don't want to subject my bride to those old balls. Well, she's the one that's going yeah, for it. Yeah, she's going for it. Bill Murray's not like making advances. It's yeah. just like he's just it's like, not like a, oh, okay. she's going for it. Yeah, she's going she's like got it. problems on it. It's not like really? it's between you not, and him. You're not a, yeah. selling a child to him or anything. You're <laughs> Maybe fucking... if he was in better shape. I don't know. I had a pride. You know, that's funny. I had a big problem with the shape that he was in in this movie. Really? Yeah, because he has like this big beer well, yeah, belly. He's like, like this old chair dude. He's so He's playing the part, man. Well, I don't know about it's playing like, the part because I don't know if you saw there's a, there's a picture online of Bill Murray in a Ghostbusters outfit now. Oh, that's and, not and that's not age. from now. That picture is actually from uh, the Spike TV. Uh, Spike, Spike TV. Spike. Yeah, yeah no. we're bros. But, we're but it was Look him. At tits. But it was Spike him TV. in the jumpsuit. In yeah, the it was him in the jumpsuit. Jump. But that was like in 2010. I know, but he still had a, be- a pot belly in it. But that was like nine. Oh, all right. Exactly. So if he had a belly back then, he's got a belly now. The belly's only bigger. Okay. Well, look at him. Look at that. Look at that. It's a Bill Murray's allowed to have that. Yeah, fucking I how know. old is the man? That's like, old. Yeah, it's like you be um, like it's like 1988. You're getting you're getting set to like start filming Tim Burton's Batman movie, and yeah, one of the guys years old. The man one, can have a belly. Yeah, exactly, and one of the guys. He's only 68. Yeah. I thought he was way older than that. Yeah, white people don't age well. White people do not age well. White men at specifically. All. Look at uh, that. He's got I the turkey like neck. We, we, we hit we hit like an, a wall. You like guys get really prune. hot until you're like sixty, and then it just goes way downhill. <laughs> hey man, what, hey, <laughs> real I told fast. You before, when I hit sixty, I am uploading this body like with HGH, everything that Stallone's on, I'm gonna be a foxy uploading grandpa. Uploading this body. Uploading. Oh yeah, I said it like in the fucking Matrix. Okay. Yeah. Do you? Fam? Uplo- I'm gonna put. I'm gonna eat all the steroids when just I'm sixty. Eat them. I think I'm yeah. still gonna look like this. Weird. Probably, yeah. probably. Well, because you're, well, you're 60 I mean, right now, right? Just fermenting my beard, and I'll be good to go. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, black don't crack, you even though I'm not really just black. Just fermenting. I thought you said just fermenting. Just <laughs> fermenting my there beard. Some yeah, kind that's of what weird, I'm gonna do. Weird pickling yeah. process yes. to keep your there is keep your beard so nice. <laughs> that is my secret. That is my oil of olay. <laughs> I swear to God, if I get home and Mike is gonna have pickle juice in his fucking beard, well, it's bound to happen eventually. A little fun fact about myself. Tequila and pickle juice is one of my favorite drinks ever. Disgusting. Cool. No, it's not. Um, okay, back on Bill Murray's shape here <laughs> that he was in for the movie. Are, would, how did you feel about like Jack Nicholson when he was paunchy as the Joker? A character that's supposed to be tall, lanky, and slender. Are you? you know are what? you one of those going to critique it? Like I'm it's not, Jack Nicholson. He can if he wants to fucking eat Big Macs before filming. Yeah, but he wasn't. Batman. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't grossly out of shape. And yeah, he was back back in the day when he got cast as the Joker. There was no. There was no other actor out there that could have been cast as the Joker. It David was Bowie was, was up for uh, that role again. There was no other actor other than Jack Nicholson that could have been up for the Joker. Somewhere in a because it's there's infinite dimensions and shit uh-huh. like that infinite timelines uh-huh. somewhere david bowie is uh the joker uh, the joker yeah. and uh billy bob Batman. billy bob thornton is uh f- freddy krueger for some fucking reason that's weird <laughs> yeah man yeah i <laughs> uh, hey uh it's something else I, I wanted to bring up uh because we're still trying to figure out I, I didn't watch it yet uh i'm actually going to because after seeing more uh like clips and stuff swamp thing Swamp Thing looks fucking crazy. Well, I mean, you got now and forever to catch up on all ten episodes or whatever. It was supposed canceled. to be thirteen episodes, yeah. and that's when uh, Warner Brothers kind of uh, kind yep. of took a. Now, is this I uh, like 
but nobody, nobody, James Wan doesn't even know why this was canceled. Yeah, no, no. There's there's a few reasons out there why it was canceled. No, it has um, a lot of the like, rumors. Like, uh, uh, there was like a, a merger with Time Warner. Or, uh, That's one of them. There was a merger with Time Warner. That's and, like the uh, death AT&T. of WCW, man. Kind of. Yeah. Um. The, another one was that the, the 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 county or the state that they were filming in it was going to cost eighty million dollars for the whole season <laughs> to get uh financed. Uh, supposedly when they were negotiating, supposedly the state was going to pay half, so they were going to pay forty million. And then the studio was going to pay the other forty million. Um, the studio gave them fourteen point two million or twelve point four million. I don't remember 12, what it 12. is. 4. And then they gave them another like grant for another four million for the pilot, four or eight million for the pilot. Yeah. And then, uh, and then yeah, and they were like, nope, we never agreed to pay forty million. So that's one of the that's one of the rumors going on. Mm. The other one is because of the AT and T Warner Brothers merger that you know they decided. There's no need to have a DC Universe app because that's going to be that. It looks like that's in trouble. So the DC DC there is a DC Universe app. Yeah, the DC I, I, Universe, is it like a Netflix for DC. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. lame. Yeah, I mean, is there it's, like it's, three shows. Well, I mean, they got Titans, they got Doom Patrol, they have uh, well, they had Swamp Thing. I mean, kind of still have Swamp Thing, and they have Titans. Yeah, yeah. They, they also stuff? have animated oh. stuff. They're animated movies, and also you can uh, you can like browse through and read a lot of back issues, comics. So, like, can I go on there and watch like Batman the animated series? I'm sure you can. Huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I still wouldn't pay for this, even for Swamp Thing, which looked fucking sweet. Yeah. But now I mean, there's only can, ten episodes. Yeah, can, who cares? watch wonder woman looks like okay i mean yeah. it's just it's just i mean it's you know it, it was cool in concept um Eight but the thing the, the thing is is that warner brothers is actually coming out with their own streaming app now okay. like disney and all that so they just figure it's just redundant to have two apps when they can just absorb all the dc shit and put it in the warner this brothers is getting app. so excessive hey, there's with all too the many. apps it's like too many i'm apps. not gonna be looking at any of this. no i i am gonna get disney I would, plus I, again i, I will yeah. accept disney after that that's though. it well yeah because i mean Disney's like controlling we, almost like, everything yeah. Right oh yeah pretty soon like they're gonna i mean now that they're like with uh with fox like they own so much horror now too yeah yeah um, oh which, my god if disney puts their disney channel original movies on there though Mm-hmm. Forget about it. I will be watching Xenon Girl of the 21st Century on a fucking loop for a good three months straight. I hope they have like the. You guys remember Wonderful World of Disney? Yeah. yeah. I used to love good those. stuff. Oh, oh one of the um, one of the other rumors from uh, from Swamp Thing is that the reason that it died is because of creative differences. The big old you know default yeah. uh, between like the like- between actually the creators of the show and the studio where i guess the creators of the show wanted to make it more into like a horror uh tv show which is kind of how it went which yeah. is right? yeah exactly what it looked yeah, like watching and, it, it looked like i was watching the void yeah it was yeah yeah, yeah. exactly and then uh and the studio wanted it more to be like a procedural type show like oh, every episode right. they were yeah. solving crimes and shit which that doesn't make any sense to <laughs> swamp me. thing swamp thing on the case north carolina was the uh, was the state yeah oh okay come yeah. on and raise them so it's just it well, just it, it seemed like it was just mired in fucking controversy and it, it was doomed from the beginning which sucks too because doomed. i watched the first few episodes and it's good it is it's good oh so, no shit yeah how are they just like a half hour long i think they're 40 42 minutes all right. Yeah. It's kind of like an episode of Supernatural. Yeah. Yeah. That's not cool. bad. Yeah. That's cool. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Not yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, not so bad. Know, R.I.P. Swamp Thing. And it yeah. sucks because they were planning on uh, doing a uh, world building with starting with Swamp Thing like they did with uh, the Marvel Netflix shows that eventually they were going to do it at the, the Defenders. Okay. With this one, they were going to do Justice League Dark. So we were going to see Dead Man, Zatanna, like really? all these, all the, yeah, John Constantine, like all these oh, characters. Okay, that, that yeah. actually would have been pretty cool. Yeah, that would have been cool. I, I, hey, it's, you know, Constantine, I heard uh, Keanu Reeves is talking about reprising the role. Yeah, he wants to. He but, wants to. I mean, yeah. they did, they did that Constantine show on NBC, which I loved, and it only did lasted you? one season. Then they moved uh, the character over to uh, the CW shows. So he's like a character, a main character right now in Legends of Tomorrow. Did you watch that movie, Drew? Constantine? What? Yeah. That was a good movie. I, like liked it? It. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I liked I like it. A the, lot of people uh, complained about the it. The that was the... actually, I, I just brought that was... up the other day because t- we were talking about Tilda Swinton. Really? Yeah, remember? Because oh. she was the angel Michael, right? Because mm-hmm. oh, she was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's she right. She played like that super androgynous role. It was very, she yeah. was, she's amazing. She's awesome. Like, she's but awesome. yeah, I actually, I really liked that movie. I thought so it was good. I liked it. I liked it, Being a fan of the comic, though, I could see where 
a lot of people had a problem with Keanu Reeves yeah. because he wasn't British. He was young. He kind of did his own take on the on the costume, and you know, it was you know, he was blonde. It was just nitpicky, stupid shit. Yeah. But I mean, all in all, I liked the movie. I did too. I thought it was cool. The uh, the exorcism at the beginning with uh, mm-hmm. the demon going yeah, in the mirror. That uh, was fucking yeah. sweet. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, man. That was fucking cool. I like them grabbing the tar out of his lungs at the end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The smoking. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. And uh, that one uh, devil character that kind of looked mm-hmm. like Andrew Dice Clay. Yeah. Lou. <laughs> yeah. Lucifer, Lou. Yeah. Uh, that was the uh, the actor that I always forget his name, but he's in fucking everything. Yeah. Yeah. That one guy. of those. He's a, he's a, he's either plays a oh, German. Oh shit! It's the guy from Fargo. <laughs> yes. He yeah. either plays a German <laughs> or a Russian. Yeah. 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 There's no yeah. in between. He was he's also a, in uh, yeah. John Wick. Bad Boys Two. He is in John yeah. Wick. There he is right uh, there, Peter Stormare. Oh, good God! We've talked about him before. You ain't seen we Bad have. Boys Two. Yeah. Always, he plays the best bad guy. And he also plays the best like bumbling buddy. I honestly crazy never person. want to remember his name. I already forgot it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Schremel. Ah, oh, it's gone. Yep, it's nope, gone. It's there. <laughs> Peter Vulo. Oh man. Uh, oh jeez. Okay, producer Pat just popped on Armageddon. Yes, yeah. I forgot he was the crazy Russian. He was in the mirror station. Yep. I totally forgot about that. Which uh. Uh, this, I mean, this movie sprung just so many memorable moments, but mainly the amazing song by Aerosmith that played at every <laughs> one of my fucking high school dances. Don't want to close my eyes. <laughs> Tyson don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. Wow. Was- <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Go no, on. we're good. All so right. anyway. Ready? No. no? <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, boo. Thank you, Pat. Oh, whatever, Pat. What? Saint your fight. Oh. Um <laughs> Tyson, That's like, uh, is. Tyson Fury just knocked a dude out the other uh the other day. Uh TKO in the second round and then sang that song at the end of the at the end of the fight. Yeah, it That's was pretty awesome. sweet. It was awesome. It was That's amazing. love awesome. Tyson Fury. But this isn't a boxing podcast. It may be. Guys, you know what we haven't done in a while? <laughs> Crack. We haven't Yes. <laughs> Says who? Whitney Houston. Uh, <laughs> 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 she had a she had a great show, and you know what? She just had a great run. What a yeah, what a talent. yeah she did. You know what a Whatever. talent. Mm. Anyways, we haven't played slash cards in a hot minute. It's and been we're a while. like we're like yo, let's dust the old deck off and let's test our might, our will. And uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm in the lead here i'm the no. reigning the reigning champion you won by one point yeah. i won by one point you, you you won by two points but then we took one away. i had to call bullshit After on that boy okay. lovecraftian okay. Okay. thing no it was it but was you still won by one a point. movie based on lovecraft and i said void drew uh drew backed me up on it which I you did. know I thank you up. no you no. didn't no you didn't it's it's okay it's it's lovecraftian like but it's not based on a lovecraft story yeah. so cool whatever rag. Yeah, um, so it was incorrect. So you only won by one. So guys, if you have, uh, if if you're new and you haven't heard this before, this is just a regular card game. It's trivia, but there is like uh, like thousands and thousands of questions on here, and there's so many ways that this game could go. Uh, but also, these questions are they get deep, so yeah. like like deep, real deep. Mm. Pat, uh, what did we? Uh, what were the rules? We had thirty seconds to answer. All right, you got that? I uh, got a timer up for us. Uh, oh shit! Let's see. How do we want to do this, Horror Delilah? Do you want to be the first one to go? I'll you're going down, reader. Blondie. You're All going right, down. So let me. Let me take. You're gonna be the first reader. I'll be the first reader. Okay, so then I'll read to Eugene. Yeah, there you go. Then yes, Eugene, please you read, read to me. me. I need a nap. And we're doing rouge, right? Red. Rouge. Yeah. Moulin rouge. rouge. Do you know that the word rouge means red? I duh. Learn something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right so here we go. first question and god damn this is a good one true or false bruce campbell and sam raimi the star and director of the evil dead respectively went to high school together correct yep oh huh. hooray, hooray. All, right. all right eugene's in the lead with one eugene read to me baby once upon a time <laughs> oh 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 Oh, oh, she you're going to know this. Am I? Quarantine, which was made in 2008, is an American remake of what Spanish film? Rock. <laughs> there you go. Uh, real quick, I want to point out that uh, Eugene is wearing a Suspiria shirt, and oh, it not. is 
Yeah. No, no, no I'm not. No, I'm going to take a yeah. picture of it. Yeah. We're going to post it on the Instas. Yep. Picture it didn't happen. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> All right. Horror Delilah. Prior to becoming a Ghostbuster, what was Dr. Peter Venkman's field of study? Hmm. Wasn't he a physicist? No. Venkman. Bill he Murray. Was, yeah. Yeah. Remember when he, he had that show? No, I don't remember. Parapsychology. Oh, didn't remember that one. That's all right. That's okay. That's all right. We'll put that in the bottom of the pile. Eugene Wait a minute, what? So you, so you went, oh, you went Ghostbusters 2. Oh, I mentioned the show. That was from Ghostbusters 2. Yeah, yeah but he yeah. went back Ghostbusters to it. Ghostbusters 1. He went well, back to it, yeah. When, uh, when uh, No Dick or did, Dickless yeah. was in the office and he was like, and what are your credentials? He was like, well, I have yep. like, parapsychology. Yeah. Yeah. I like honestly don't remember the beginning of that movie. It's been so long since I watched it. Yeah. Wow. Um, well, hey, we'll dust it off. We'll dust it off. Mm. Isn't the beginning of the movie with the library and the library ghost? That's very, very. Beginning. That's the very, yeah. Beginning. That's very, yeah. very. Yeah. Very, very beginning. Very, very, very. See, did Pat remember that? I didn't. <laughs> uh, in <laughs> Videodrome, what is Videodrome? <laughs> in Videodrome, what is first Videodrome? rule of Videodrome? <laughs> you don't talk, you don't talk about Videodrome. <laughs> Shit, it's not fair. Let's see. I got what twenty seconds. Yeah. Why do I not remember this? Video drone. What is a video? It's drone? a weird one. Video drone. Is, video it is a video drone. drone the video actual drone. like like company that James Woods' character like owns, where he was looking for obscure obscure videos to put on his thing. That is, I don't think that's no. correct, dude. Uh, video drone was the uh, was the show. Yeah, it was that, was, that was the actual show, show then. Yes. Yeah, the fucking the, the, snuff the, the, show. The, the that show. weird yeah. snuff show. Yeah. Okay. And for some reason, James Wood was just like he'd put it on and just get so fucking right. hard. Then and what jerk the fuck was the name everywhere. of the? What was the name of the the, the damn? I could have sworn. That I don't it. know. KBWQX. Who fucking cares? All the, right. the James Wood Network. Where you just you talk about how much you hate Jews. Whoa. Whoa. That was James Wood. Not me. I was James Wood. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. True or false? The events in Troll 2 take place on the same day as Troll. Incorrect. True, false. False. Yes. Aside from its title, Troll 2 is not connected There's to Troll in any way. Not a single. The trolls in Troll, True, uh, Troll 2 Troll aren't two? even trolls. They're goblins. Yes, correct. And they're, they're, what yeah. kind of, <laughs> Pat they're what kind of, go- what was that, Pat? He went, really? Pat, actually in Troll 2, the goblins are vegetarian goblins, so they have to turn people into plant-based material to eat. <laughs> I've never been more hurt. All I've right. never been more impressed. I love that <laughs> just a little bit more now. <laughs> True. What? True or false? Cannibal Holocaust does not hmm. feature any actual on-screen deaths. Um, it, well, isn't that false because of the turtles? Yes, false. A number of animals were yeah. slaughtered for the film, sparking. Dude, it's a death. A death yeah, is a death. Yeah, it's a death. death. Yeah. yeah, man. Look, the answer's on the fucking card, Pat. This isn't up for debate. But wait a minute. When the one tribesman beats the fuck <laughs> out of, well, first he fucks her with that fucking stick or whatever it is. he couldn't get and it then up. He, and then he beats her with it. Yeah. Doesn't he kill her there? No. And then puts her no, on the boat? They, actual they, they like actual deaths. Like oh, like some, real deaths. Yeah, real like deaths. Real oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was a fucking I mean, turtle. Because that's the one where they the girl had to show up in court because they yeah. were... It yeah, was like, hey, I'm not dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 They arrested the director the- because they thought they were like actual death. Yeah. That would never, crazy. ever, it ever like- happen nowadays. Like, that's like. Well, yeah, because we're not fucking stupid. Well, yeah, yeah. we're not. Well, well we still know, are. Come on. I mean, let's 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 not bring up politics or I anything. I mean, look but- at fucking War of the Worlds. Also, didn't they kill the ox in that movie? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They yep. killed like a turtle, a rat, uh, an ox. Yeah, yeah. That's a big controversy is that all the. I'm sure some monkeys got killed at some point. All right, you guys, you guys ready for this one? Well, yep. it's more Eugene than this me. This one's a yeah. Well, Eugene, uh, this is a shout out to to Peter Vulo. Ooh. Uh, in what year was Lucio Fulci's uh, zombie released? <sighs> oh no! Oh my god! Oh no! No, wait a minute. We don't wait. Do I know? Yeah, I do know because he just posted something about zombie yeah. about uh, the director's birthday. Yeah, because he fucked the shark in it. Yeah. Yeah, he fucked the shark. What yeah. was it? Can you repeat the question? <laughs> uh, what year was zombie released? Would you like it in a sentence? <laughs> About five seconds. Nineteen eighty-two. Nope. Nineteen eighty. 
1979. Whoa. Oh, fuck. I was about Shit. to say 78, and I'd still be wrong. Yeah. yeah. But you would have been closer. Closer. <laughs> nah, all right. So who we got here? I have two. Eugene? I have one. I have Uno. Oh. Oh, oh, look at that. You're winning by one again. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter if you win by a mile. An inch or a mile. Winning is winning. Quote your Vin Diesel correctly. Eugene, <laughs> ask him a question. <laughs> In Fast and the Furious 1. <laughs> right, let's see. Yes. Oh, my. Is, okay. it, is it bad? Horror it's... can show up in unexpected places, Ooh. like when Mr. Dark and his circus come to town in this 1983 film. Mr. Dark and the circus come to town. Uh, something wicked this way comes. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. think you were going to get that one. I didn't think because you were going to get that one. Because I fucking love that movie. I didn't movie. think you were going to get that one. He has the one kid's face tattooed on his hand and the other kid's face tattooed on his uh-huh. hand and the dude lies to him and he squeezes his fist and fucking yeah. blood comes yeah. out because he's so fucking pissed he knows he's lying to him. Yeah. yeah. When he fucking cracks fucking Jason Robard's hand. Yeah. Yeah. And then Rick and Morty had an episode with that guy kind of in it. All right. Not really. That was more of a Needful Things type yeah. parody. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm going to fuck myself. <laughs> You're equipped to. <laughs> All right, true. For some reason, you keep getting Ghostbusters questions. God, mother nice. fucking No, damn it. this one you'll get it. In Ghostbusters, Dana Barrett, that's Sigourney Weaver. I know. Is a professional musician. What instrument does she play? The tube stick. Fuck, it's not, not cello. Yeah, man. Is it? All right. Boom. For some reason, I was thinking Money Pit. And like her being in the orchestra <laughs> playing the violin. the violin. And it wasn't Sigourney Weaver. No, that I'm was well not. aware. I'm just, my brain went to. It was What's Her Face from Cheers. Yeah. I forgot her name. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Hanks was there. Yeah. Yes. Tom Hanks threw it in her. Uh, my brain always goes to Money Pit. Mm hmm. Uh, Eugene, yes. the 2009 documentary Best Worst Movie tells the story of what famously awful film and how it became a cult classic. Trolls 2. Good job. Hey, yeah, man. You. Wow. They, uh, we should only know that because I watched it two weeks ago. Shit. Really? <laughs> yeah. Trolls? Wow. Really? Yeah. Oh. I, I, I too, am a sadist, but not. <laughs> 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 Which, uh, I, I, speaking of being a sadist, we were, I was listening to Kiss earlier. Mm-hmm. And, I think you uh, mean a masochist. Mas- sadomasochist? No. 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 Well, Mas- sadist is liking pain on other people. Masochist oh, yes. is liking her. Oh, okay. Like okay. Well, all right. Whatever. Uh, One of us is a lot so, more into this than yeah, the other. Yeah, right. <laughs> Drew's subscription to kink.com. Uh, <laughs> so Kiss comes on and it's like, ball, and, ball and Drew's, Drew's singing and she goes, ah. No, don't tell me. All night. And Kevin Spacey. No, yeah, that's not. You I said it wrong. Yeah, Shit, I fucked, fucked it. it up. Fucked it up. Good, because I told you not to tell anybody that I did that. All right. Next it's question. Wow, wow, dear Kevin Spacey. That's how it went. Read yeah. to me. Oh, that's right. It's me. Yeah. Well, me. That's what I mean. Me, me to you. Sing to me, Paolo. Oh See, shit! That how many people Disney? does Michael Myers kill in Halloween Two? Oh man, that sucks. Let's see. The neighbor. <sighs> Six. Is that your final answer? No. Yeah. Zero. Okay. Nine. Oh, whoa, nine? Yeah. Uh, That's a hell of a kill count compared to the first one. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah that six, sucks. nine. Damn you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone now it's a just party. starts dropping and twerking. <laughs> Let's play who's in my mouth. <laughs> <sighs> I feel like my options are real limited here. <laughs> yeah. In <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> <what's> <laughs> <laughs> All right, I uh, I think I think you'll get this. Uh, horror can show up in unexpected places, like when the heroine runs for her life through the woods in this 1937 Disney cartoon. It's also it's a Snow Disney White. Movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, really good. Holy wow. shit! I yeah. know my Disney. If Fucking a, man. Yeah. And that, I always love that scene because it was always horror with the trees and the faces yeah. grabbing at her and like yeah. pulling at her dress. Why was I thinking rape her like an evil dead? Didn't rape her. Stop <laughs> that. I don't know why I was thinking Fantasia. I thought that was like a sequence in Fantasia. It, the forest comes alive in Fantasia, yes. but yeah. Okay. Fantasia could See, be I kind of know my Disney too. I'm just a little yeah. skewed. Yeah, you got this. Uh, ba, 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 ba. All right, Eugene. Hi. The Babysitter Murders was the original title of what classic slasher film? Oh, 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 shit, oh, whoa, 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 fuck, twice, fuck, I know this too, oh, that is a flex, shit, um, oh, fuck, 
Man. Shit. Very vascular. Wait a minute. What did it say? What year? No. No. This is no. horse shit. <laughs> uh the babysitter murders. Like I, I Nightmare on Elm Street. Starring, no. starring Christina Applegate. It was Halloween. Yeah. Yes, it was. Motherfuck. Okay. <laughs> Guys, when the pressure's on, it, it's hard to think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those of you Been listening, just, uh, yeah. Fuck. I'm we upset about that because like I knew the, that, too. The, yeah. the clock is counting down, and we, we go into panic mode. It's like the and like, tip we're, of my we're tongue. We're playing for fucking blood. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. Me did. Me turn. Was that fucking English? No. Huh? Not really. Me turn. <laughs> yeah. Come on, baby. Give it to me. What? Okay. What? Horror can show up in unexpected places yet again, like when a hunter shoots the protagonist's mother in this 1942 Disney film. I don't know how that's horror, but Bambi. Yeah, that's stupid. Uh. (laughs) All right. Well, I mean, I'm in the lead, so I'm okay with that. (laughs) Oh, man, I'm getting really sick of these ones. Horror can can show up in (laughs) unexpected places like the. Glowing green boogity man from this 1986 Disney TV movie. It's like, it, it, was that like a, num- a nightmare, a nightmare before Christmas? <laughs> no, 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 1986. What? Oh, shit. Boogity, Wait a minute. Boogity. Why, why are you boogity. helping? Yeah, why are you stupid? helping? I don't understand. Because it says I understand it's your wife. Just um, read the question the way it's printed. Because Don't start doing impressions hear- and go boogity, boogity. And, duh, and, duh, and this character did that. Look, you got 10 seconds now. That's you did it to Drew, not me, man. <laughs> there was a lot going on there, so there I'm was. just gonna let that one go. Mr. Boogity. I've I never it, heard of I that. I did it because I knew she never fucking seen that, Eugene. I've never heard of that. Calm your tits. You never heard of Mr. Boogity? No. It's uh or the, the sequel? dude. No. The dude Return from, of Mr. Boogity? No. Uh, I'm 29. <sighs> oh, the fuck? yeah. That's who right. was uh who is Mr. Boogity? He was in it. He was the guy that killed himself. Yeah, he like hung himself and it, no, it, no, for no. for it being a Disney movie, it was like terrifying for kids and yeah. it, it became like a cult classic then they came out with the sequel and the sequel didn't do as well Ooh. Ooh. you ready i think i am ready know that movie. all right uh how many people die in west craven's the last house on the left 1972 oh my god uh, oh how many people total shit in the 1972 one yep i because i guessed wrong Really? Yeah, when I originally read this, I was like, I think it's this. I forgot I'm on a timer. Yeah. I'm going to say five. That was my guess, too. See, that's what I thought, too. But they killed people. They killed somebody at the very... They killed a cop at the beginning, right? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about him. They they escape. They escape, and that's the cop they kill. They escape. Yeah, so the two two girls get killed, and then they get killed by the parents. Yeah. Fuck. Now, is that the same amount of people that died in the remake? No, because no. the girl survived, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's but right. I don't know how many people they killed at the beginning. Ooh. Actually, yeah. I hate that you're getting all these easy questions. The most profitable horror film of all time oh, cost $60,000 to make and grossed $140 million at the box office. What is the title of this film? Oh, my God, dude. What? Is that Paranormal Activity? Is that The Exorcist? No. <laughs> no. Fuck. No. The highest grossing. Oh, no, that's not good. Uh, uh, uh. Why are you so mad? Because I knew this and I was obsessed with this movie. You're upset. The Shining? Huh? Not The Shining. No. Shining was made for a lot more than $60,000. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, Jack Nicholson's in it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know. That was was a weekend with Jack Nicholson. That was just for his trailer. Yeah. All right, I'm out. Blair Witch Project. Uh, that's the highest gr- I did not yeah, I totally 60, forgot 60, that $60,000 and it made $140 million. wow man nice nice like I, I want like, to say like it. the only thing that, that came close maybe was maybe Paranormal Activity the first one yeah because oh, yeah, well, yeah, I was thinking low budget, budget. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well all right that'd be the flying Dutchman <laughs> uh uh Let's see here. Uh, according to the film, what must one do in order to summon the Candyman? Oh, say his name in the mirror three times? That's incorrect. No. Yeah, I can't. No. <laughs> I forget how to summon him. You have to say it five times. Five times. Fuck. 
That's okay. That's okay. It's not Bloody Mary. It's not Biggie. I mean, Pat didn't even start the timer. Biggie yeah. Smalls. He did, and he was like, yeah, she's wrong. Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls. I know Biggie. Biggie Smalls. What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> Uh, horror can show up in unexpected places like Large Ugh. Marge the Trucker from the 1985 <laughs> Tim Burton f- film. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Holy yes. shit. On our episode with, uh, we actually we did that episode with Horror and Unexpected Places, and that was uh, that was one of our picks. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it was. Large Marge. Yep. Yeah. All right. Eugene. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm. Just anticipation's <sighs> killing me right this now. Is awful, god awful. How what awful is the name is of the it? spaceship in Alien? Ow. Oh, okay. We got the timer started. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I don't think that's the name of it. Oh. That's Fuck. what she said. That's Dude, <laughs> I, I'm I'm an absolute brain fart right now. I'm just stop the timer. I'm out. You're out. Yeah. I want to say that it's the Nostromo. Oh, it's shit. the Nostromo. Oh my God! For a man that has an alien tattoo on him, I'm very ashamed. Yeah, Pat, even Pat. Pat's like, well, Pat, pull up a chair, man. Maybe. You... <laughs> no, Pat, yeah. hop in. Hop in, Pat. I got four cards, man. You could catch up. I'm sitting at three. So am I. All, All right. right. So winning by one. All right. All right. Oh, Continues. I'm sorry, Drew. I. Uh, let's see here. That... Ba, 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 ba. Okay, true or false, Wes Craven got the idea for Nightmare on Elm Street after he read an article about several otherwise healthy young men who died in their sleep. That was true. Correct. Yeah, yeah no one knows the causes. Yep. What what was causes it? Asia? it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a uh, sudden unexpected nocturnal death syndrome. Yep. Yeah. Sons is indeed a real, albeit extremely rare affliction. Could you imagine that? Yeah, that was that, that, uh, that Asian dude that... Yeah. Finally, when he went to sleep, because he kept saying, I can't sleep because I'll die. Um, he died, yeah. He, but he, it was like a brutal death, He too. woke up screaming yeah. like bloody murder, like someone was actually killing him. Um, also, he got the idea for Freddy Krueger because of that creepy guy that was hanging out of his window. Remember that? Wes yeah. Craven, Wes Craven said that he, a uh, guy with a fedora and a trench coat and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Eugene. Horror can show up in unexpected places, like when Donald Duck goes insane with hunger and grabs an axe in this 1947 cartoon. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, <laughs> um, um, shit. You said Donald Duck, right? Not Daffy Duck. Yeah, Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Um, Donald Duck. Was he? He grabs an axe or a chainsaw? An axe. An axe. It's 1947. It's 1947. Yeah, that was like that was like the norm. Uh, fuck. I, don't, uh, I, I was just saying I don't think there were chainsaws in 1947. No chainsaws. Ba-da, ba-da, ba. When were chainsaws invented? Oh, that's a great question. No clue. No clue. Uh, nope. Yeah, Mickey and the Beanstalk. Oh fuck! Duh, yeah. I would never guess. I, I would have never got that. Got did you know that? Either. No, I didn't. No? Yeah. <laughs> I actually did have an entire um, what's it called? Don like Donald Duck uh like case like, full of like all the cartoons that oh, he yeah? was in originally. Yeah. That's Eugene, awesome. you remember like when they would have like little cartoons in between movies on the Disney Network back when like we were like like way back when like early nineties, uh yeah. maybe like late eighties. Mm-hmm. I remember they would they would play like those really weird shorts that were like from like the fifties. Yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. In between. You remember the Humpty Dumpty one? Yeah. That was, fucking, yeah, that was that creepy. That was fucking terrifying. Yeah. He was so obsessed with, like, getting all the way to the sun just so he could bash it with his hammer. Yeah. And he bashed it with his hammer. Sun got pissed off, knocked him off. Fucked him up. That was weird, man. Scramble. You know the thing with the with Humpty Dumpty? Humpty Dumpty? Like, mm. he's always portrayed as an egg, but... They never once... Does, they never once reference him as an egg. Yeah. Man, that's weird. Ever. Well, they... Because... Because King Humpty Dumpty, they cracked his head like a fucking egg, and I think maybe it took it from there. And then just he just yeah. became a big egg. So instead of being like, yo, his brain matter was everywhere, it's more like, hey, look, there's yolk. I would fry his ass up, man. Yeah, That's man. a lot of protein. <laughs> oh, my <Yeah>. God. <laughs> oh, an egg that big? You know how many grams of protein are in? Oh, my God, so dude? many. So dude, many. So many. I'll eat my body weight in protein there. Yeah. Biceps, That's a lot. Huge. What? I would take such a massive, like, shit afterwards, though. <laughs> I would. And the farts. Yeah. Oh, could you imagine the Humpty Dumpty egg farts you would no, 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 no. Choke a small village. Because you're a big guy. 
And you be you consume a lot of protein. You know those protein size. parts, man. Oh, I know. They're terrible. Yeah. Drew knows about it. Drew knows. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Oven, Dutch ovens. We'll be, hey, uh, how about you uh, read the card? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what early Love Sam Raimi film is technically still banned from being screened in German theaters? Oh, fucking All Evil right. Dead, man. Yeah, Evil hey, Dead, yeah. man. Yeah. You're right. Is that still... What? You know, this didn't, didn't you wasn't it just came out that Germany yeah. is allowed to have it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was yeah. semi recently they just yeah, like it like up. this year. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. So yeah, it was recently. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's see. So the slash cards. What is the name of the motel Marion Crane? Yeah, what is the name of the motel Marion Crane checks into? But not out of in Psycho. Bates Motel. Bingo. Good job. Because she gets murdered. 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 Ooh, true. Uh, Eugene, true or false? Creature from the Black Lagoon, 1954, was filmed mm -hmm. in 3D. <laughs> that actually kind of fucks me up. <laughs> That's. <laughs> That's a wild in question Fuck, there, man. bro. You know what? I want to say, no, it's true. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that was. Because that I, was, was I was thinking back yeah. to the movie, and there's actually like scenes where he's like reaching for the yeah. camera and shit that so was made for be, 3D. Yeah. Yeah. And like he's swimming That's underneath there. very impressive. Yeah. I didn't realize that they had that back then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. And I only remember because they used to show, uh, they actually showed it and made a big event back when 3D was like huge yeah. um, on Channel 5, which was the equivalent of Fox now. Yeah. Um, they actually screened uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon first in 3D. And you had to go to like your local 7 Eleven and get, get 3D glasses, glasses oh, and all cool. that shit with the red lens and the blue yeah. lens and all that. Yeah, it was yeah, awesome. Man. I remember seeing it too. It was like a big event. Really? Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's yeah. super cool. That was awesome. Oh, no. Here we go. The documentary 237. Examines a number of theories about and hidden messages contained within what classic horror film? The Shining, obviously. Yes. I, yes, yes, I, yes, I yes, hate yes, this yes. game today. I, game. <laughs> I told you guys, let's not do this category, but you guys wanted to do this category. Well, it's a you do know category. that we can switch the category at any yeah. time, right? Uh, would you like to switch the category right now? <laughs> Name four horror movies that feature a mad doctor or surgeon. Holy shit. Four of them. All right. Shit just took a turn. Fuck. Okay. Uh, I feel like I should get more than 30 seconds for these ones, but <sighs> Dr. Giggles. Um, wow. Fuck. Can I say pathology? Because okay. it's about med students. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> shit. There is one big one, the huge one <laughs> that we've talked about a bunch of times, so and then there's times. one that's a classic movie. Your time's up. Time's up. Reanimator, yeah. Frankenstein, Frankenstein. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the dentist, Doctor Diggle, uh, Doctor Diggles, Doctor Diggles, Doctor Diggles. Diggles. That's the one Too I want to Let's not forget about everyone's favorite human centipede. Yeah, I just oh, yeah, I can't I do those that. multiple ones with the timer, man. It fucks me up. Read, uh, read the orange one. Orange. Orange. Yeah, go orange. Eugene, you're getting orange. I hate once orange. you go, once you go red, you're back to orange. Uh, name one horror movie that features Native American legend or folklore. <laughs> Pet Cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> Drink. Now Drink. we're starting. Now we're starting. <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry. Here we go. You guys, stop yelling into you. God damn it! And ears. on top of that, we just fucking mentioned Pet oh. Cemetery again. Yeah, that's, I'm, that's dude. Every horseshit. time we mention, so you listening at home, every time we mention pets or at work, we mention pet cemetery. You do a fucking shot, and I said it like, like, like pet cemetery, like five or six times. You just said it. All right, we just said it three times, and yeah. that's enough. Don't go down that road. Uh now there. Fuck, man. Yeah, fuck. Name three horror movies that feature Nazis. Uh Dead Snow. Oh yeah. Uh. Oh wow. Okay. Um. Uh. 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 This is tough. Uh. Overlord. Yeah, uh, that's right. Uh, Nazis. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. 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 Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, human centipede. Was that doctor or Nazi? No, he wasn't a Nazi. Shit. Uh, I mean, he was German, but he wasn't a Nazi. I, I don't want to say Dead Snow too because we're not allowed to do that shit. Pardon me. Um. Oh no. Pat never started the timer. Oh come on. This, you're done. You don't get <laughs> I, I, this. I only got two, man. Yeah. I can't think of anything else. All right. Bullshit. We would have also taken. <laughs> Stop right there. Let me it's, stop you right there. I know, I know, but I just want to say it. I just want to say it. Okay. I just want to say it. Puppet Master. It's fine. Should we implement a rule? Puppet Master is one. 
Whoa, dude. I like dude, that. Dude, look, you got to keep Ooh. sharp objects. Get those keys off the table, then, if that's the case. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to whittle a shiv out of this pen. A shiv. Whittle a shiv. A shiv. <laughs> <laughs> Getting swifty. Prison, prison okay. terms, man. But then <laughs> only the other person can do it. Then not the person. Now we're playing slash cards via play. Uno. Like if it had been oh, stick, I pull out a fucking yeah. wild card. One person could have finished. <laughs> Go fish slash cards. <laughs> oh. All right, so I did not get that. need to call it before the 30 seconds is over. Yes. And then does yeah. the person have another 30 seconds to answer? No. Or do they have the remaining time on the original 30 seconds? I feel like these are details we should have worked out before the But episode. I yeah. like that we're doing it on here. Yeah. This is actually uh, pretty cool. If, if they completely start fresh, like they don't use any of their answers... They got they, 30 seconds. Yeah. Okay. But if they're no, piggybacking on yeah. Are we going to be able to hear you? Because that was... Okay. Talking, yeah. I'm right. yeah. pretty sure it picks up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so explain it. Yeah. Okay. So what we're doing is we're, we have, we're implementing a steal rule. So if the first person can't get it, then the other person can steal the card, but they only have a certain... Like if they're... If they're starting their own answer, then they get another 30 seconds. But if they're piggybacking off of your answer, like say I had those two and then Micah wants to add another two, okay. he only gets 20 seconds. Okay. okay. Or the remaining number yeah. or the remaining Pat's time. The, that's Pat's left. the time, man. Well, okay. Yeah. Darth Vader just came in and fucking altered the deal. So then uh, the other the other two movies that we would have accepted is Frankenstein's Army oh, or shit. Apt Pupil. I don't know. Um, Apt Pupil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it, McKellen. All right. Name five horror films. Ghostbusters. In which. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Name five horror films in which an axe is used as a weapon. Oh, my. Okay. Um, the Shining. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, Friday the 13th. Mm -hmm. Doesn't he use an axe at one point? Part. Part. Oh, I have to do seven. You're correct. He does okay. use it in seven. Um. Fuck. I should do five of these? Yeah, yeah, bro. One, two. Why am I blanking right now? I mean, there's one that actually has the name in the title. Boom. All right, we're done. Uh, I would have gone with Creep. Yeah, I would have gone with Hatchet. Uh, oh, very good. And what uh, would be the fifth? Uh, I'm, I'm American Psycho. Oh, yeah. Yes. I forgot about that one. Yeah, he done fucks Jared Leto up yeah. with that. I mean, yeah, don't we all want to do that to Jared Leto? <laughs> hey, <Yeah>. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awesome scene. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, you. Uh, Eugene, name yes. five horror movies from the 2010s. Oh, what? The 2010s. Like 2000, uh, 2010. This is, oh, the, this oh is current. fucking stupid. <laughs> I want the red category. Current back. horror movies? I mean, I'm, I'm going to name them all like the recent ones. I'm going to say Ma. I'm going to say The Conjuring. I'm going to say Annabelle. I'm going to say... What's the other one? Shit, I got 10 seconds and I got two more to go. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> gonna say gonna say Escape Room. That's considered horror. One and go, that's go. it. Oh, no, you have one more. I know. No, time's but up. It went to zero. Uh, so. Time's up. Yeah. Micah, you can steal. I could steal. Yeah, you can, can add Pet Cemetery steal. remake. No, no, that's it. It's oh, over. Yeah, you need to call, call it, it during. I, yeah. Oh, call it. So if the question starts, all right. Oh no, I don't like if that. If I can't finish, yeah. Oh, if you can't finish, but you can't just be like, actually, the way, I want to. The way do that I, I was just like, boom, 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 and so, I had four. Now he's got stuck on five. Oh, okay. so there's if time I still at there's still still time on the timer. If he finishes at one, then I it's up oh, to Pat okay. if he's gonna. It's gonna be it. the remaining time, or if he's gonna add another thirty oh, seconds. Okay, got yeah. you. I'm, so basically, it's gonna be like I can't finish the job. So Guy B comes in and fucking polishes things off. That's there you right. go. And just jerk off in the corner. It's all about being yep. a fluffer. <laughs> it's got a little windsock thing going on. Ew, God damn it. Hey, name three horror movies in which a killer wears a mask. Oh, oh. Friday the 13th. So stupid. Halloween. Let's go with, uh, let me think of something crazy. Come on. Let's, go with, uh, let's go with Cry Wolf. Remember that one? That movie sucked. I remember, I remember that. But he had a mask. It was orange. Okay. Are those your final answers? There's three of them. Okay. Yeah. You're wrong. You can't be wrong. Huh? What? You can't be wrong. He can't be wrong? No. Those are just examples. He doesn't have to do, list the ones yeah, that I know, are on there. But he listed three movies, and one of them is wrong. Oh, which about? one did he list? Friday the 13th. Motherfucker. That's right. <gasps> oh. That's right. Oh. Oh. Shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Eugene. Yeah. Oh, yeah. who wants to be a gloaty little bitch now? Booyah. I, this is the shit that got Drew Barrymore killed in school. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And it was based on an H.P. Lovecraft story. <laughs> All right. Suck a fuck. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, here we go. Name five slasher movies. All right. Uh, Friday the 13th. Well, I don't know, Drew, which one? <laughs> Scream. <laughs> uh, American Psycho. Can I do regular Psycho? Yeah. That's All right, and then Halloween. All right, man. Booyah. All right. That's, those are slashers. All, All right, right, now we got a fucking game. Now All we right. got a motherfucking game, yeah. son. Shit. <laughs> Give your... Yeah. Psycho's considered a Psycho's slasher. A slasher. Yeah. He's- he does because he's fucking crazy. He fucking slashes. He I mean, he kills what? Yeah. He kills what? Two people? Yeah. Two. But still, they have to come to him. But yeah, and he slashes them. him with a knife. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah. Slash, 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 slash. Kill, <laughs> kill, kill. All right. Um. Whoa. Name two horror movies directed by Todd Browning. Big Dick Todd Browning. So we like to call him. Back at bless, the, bless you. you. Horror movies directed by Todd Browning? Yeah. Oh, God. I'm drawing a fucking blank. Anybody else? You could steal if you want. I, dude, actually, I got fucking nothing, man. Yeah. I, I can't. mean, I have the card in front of me. You so have I the card in front of Yeah, so <laughs> I, you know what? I don't know. It's a Dracula 1931 and Freaks. Fuck. I don't think you get to keep that. Shit. No. <laughs> it was no. a joke. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, Micah. Mm. <laughs> All right. All right. Next. Mm. Next. Feed, feed my. Feed oh, my God. Name two horror movies that take place at a oh sorority God. or fraternity house. Really? Yeah. A sorority? Sorority house massacre. And I'm going to go with uh, 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 Nightmare Sisters. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Give me that. We would also take in Black Christmas and House on Sorority Road. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Ooh. All right. Uh, nah, Drewski. Name three silent horror films. Ooh. Wait, really? Ooh. <laughs> uh, Nosferatu. Yep. Mm-hmm. Was Invisible Man silent? No. no. Shit. Oh, wait a minute. Why are we? Why am I answering? I, I, I know. I was asking myself. Oh, I don't yeah. know why you're. Like, I'm sitting here just shaking my head. While you're, uh, while you're thinking about this, I think now's a good time for me to tell you about Omaha Steaks. Yeah, I Use promo nothing. code. <laughs> oh, nothing? Know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I, I would have sucked the fuck at this one, too, because the cabinet of Dr. Caligari yes. and uh, Haxon. Witchcraft through Ooh. the ages. Never heard of it. Yeah. Hexen. There's a. Can you can you think isn't of another that, one? Isn't that considered like one of the first horror movies? Hexen. Yeah. Hexen. Yeah. Hexen. H a x o n. Um. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. Oh. Where are we at here? I'm at seven. I'm at six. Okay. I'm at five. I think. No deal. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Yep. Five. I suck a dick. Hey, you're fine. All right. Name two horror films that take place in Japan. Shit, that take place in Japan? In Japan. We'll do uh we'll do the grudge and mm. we'll do No, wait a minute. That, that, wait a minute, yeah, yeah, and the ring. Oh. Mm. No? Uh, no. We'll do the grudge. <laughs> I and we'll do Does Naomi Naomi Watts look Japanese to you. What? Dude. The, but it... isn't isn't the ring a remake of Ringu? It's called Ringu. Ringu. Yeah, you could have just so said yeah. Ringu. Well, I just said it. No. Said no, you said ring. But I just said Ringu. But was the timer up? The time was up. The time was not up, you lying Pat. You I wasn't lying. looking, so that's up to Pat. <laughs> yeah, Pat. All right, that's fine. Uh, yeah, the that's original okay. the original ring was like in like a city, then I don't know if they ended up in fucking Maine yeah. or something or uh no, no, it is, but I fuck, man. Hmm. But the grudge isn't called the grudge either on a, a, yeah, in Japan. Is. It's called the grudge. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, I thought it's, it was called Juwan. It is Juwan. So yeah, but this, I think, this grudge is still takes place in Japan. The grudge still takes place in Japan. That, yeah, yeah, with Sarah Michelle Gellar. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. they did the gorilla, the, the gorilla filming and all that. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I suck. All right. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. All right. Name four horror movies that feature paranormal investigators. 
For horror movies that have paranormal investigators, I am going to go with Ghostbusters. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, there's a paranormal investigator in uh, blah, 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 The Taking of Deborah Logan. Uh, there's a paranormal investigator in paranormal, uh, nope, no, no, not in paranormal activity. Oh, shit. What, my there dick. are no paranormal investigators are no in paran- Taking of Deborah Logan. There no, a- they do. There is a was, film there crew. A, oh, they're just assholes, shit, shit, fuck students. They were just, uh, yeah. Three, two, one. All right, guys, that's game. Yeah. I just fucking won. We got, I got seven. I got seven. And you got what? What? Five. Negative five. And you got what? I have six. Six. So once again, sex. he wins by one. Ha <laughs> By one. Uh, yes. Now, I'm not going to repeat what, uh, what the, the fucking terrible quote that I fucked up earlier, but... Let it be known that uh, yet again, cr- fucking crushing shit, fucking both you guys up. Still the reigning terror trio, big dick over here. And, uh, thank you. And <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Pat. Guys, yeah. thanks a lot for tuning in this week. Uh, if you uh, f- fuck, I just had a brain oh fart. Oh my god! Yeah. If you <laughs> want to get Delilah, a hold of us, out, please. Jesus. Us out. Uh, if you want to get a hold of us, you can reach us at terrortriopodcast at gmail dot com. We're also on Instagram and Facebook at Terra Trio Podcast and uh, Twitter at Terra Trio Cast. Um, if you want to, I don't know, just hit us up. Talk to us. Well, one of us will probably answer. If not, you're probably not cool. Drop us a line. Drop yeah. us all. Yeah. All right. So on that note, uh, it was, you know, this was fun. And just remember <laughs> that. Remember that it's high stakes. So fuck off. And yeah. uh, Crack is whack. I'm Drew. I'm Eugene. And I'm Micah. And, and guys. We're the territory. Okay, bye. That's it. See ya. We're done. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Quiet. Quiet.